Hi, my name is Hamza Jacobs. I'm an IT trainer with New Horizons in London. I'm here today just to show you a couple of cool little tips and tricks on Windows 7 and Office 2010. How to do basic calculations in Microsoft Excel. When calculating within Microsoft Excel, one of the most important things to remember is you should always start with the equal sign on the keyboard. The equal sign, and it always lives next to the backspace key on the keyboard. Let's start that over again, yeah? Uh, just the equal sign bit. The equal sign lives next to backspace on your keyboard. So we position our active cell, that's our dark border, to the cell we'd like the result to be returned in. As you can see, I've got the profit there. I hit equal. Now, Excel works with cell references. Now, I could enter 120 minus 115. That would work. But instead, what we do, as soon as you hit the equal sign, I use my mouse and select the cell. So I'm going to say that by clicking on it, that. I then hit the hyphen or the minus sign. I then click on the cell I'd like to subtract from that one and I simply hit enter. That gives me five. Doing that one more time equals click on the cell I'd like so that minus that clicking on it enter equals B4 See it picks up the cell address as soon as you click it. Minus that, enter. Simple subtraction. Now, the subtraction is the minus sign. Your multiplication in Excel is your asterisk or the star on the number pad. Shift and eight on your keyboard will do a similar thing. Your addition is your plus sign. And I'll do a basic addition at the bottom over here real quick. I'll hit the equal sign once again, click on my first cell, addition sign plus, click on the next cell, addition sign plus, click on the next one, enter. To do a simple division, I'm just going to move one cell below that. I can now hit the equal sign once again, of course remember always equals first. I click on my total value and I can say divide by now. Divide is your forward slash. As you can see there, a forward slash. And I can say take that total and divide it by three. And that gives me 545 divided by three. A little note there, when working with formulae in Excel, notice Excel returns the calculation result into the cell. To see the formula, you have to look into the formula bar at the top. As you can see with my total, that's where I can see the formula. The formula bar at the top, similarly with all the others. That's how to do a basic subtraction, basic addition and basic division in Microsoft Excel.